Fuel brought to you by false pedophilia accusations. <laughs> Support Keemstar, all right? Support him. Subscribe to Keemstar. Literally, he's a, he's a nice ass guy. Now, I'm sure most of you are up to date with this whole situation again, just like how I am. But it seems to be we've gone back to 2016 YouTube where everyone under the sun is trying to expose Keemstar again. Now, this is not a video of me defending Keemstar, nor this is me on H3H3 side or on Deji side. I am completely neutral with all of them. I like all three of them equally. And because I'm a loser that sits on YouTube all day, I know all of them pretty well and their videos pretty well. And I know all of them can make decent content. Content, but I don't understand why this is happening again. Well, I'm not saying this isn't entertaining because let me make this clear This is entertaining as fuck and I hope this carries on for another year. Okay, no, no, that was a joke Let's not do this for another year, please But for those of you that live under a rock basically H3H3 had made a content nuke on uh, Keemstar Hi, Ethan Klein. Ethan uh, Klein is a liar! He's a liar! You liar! That's not the truth! Are you okay, bro? I'm actually worried about you, bro! I guess he got inspiration from another YouTuber. I'm not too sure who it was though. Although there is one crucial part in Ethan's video that he mentions about Keemstar which I'm going to leave out and I don't think the person that was mentioned in Ethan's video is fair on the person's family or him and it's not a good point to bring up because it's just offensive because it's just uh, bruh. It's just outright offensive okay Ethan you shouldn't have brought it up. If you know what I'm talking about good for you. Don't put it down in the comments. I don't want him in the tags comments or anything like that. Leave this guy alone. Remember like five years ago when one of Keemstar's team got a story wrong and he reported on it and it turned out to be false. Yeah that's been brought up again. You know that was brought up like every single time we want to leave these exposed videos on Keemstar. Yeah, it's been brought up again in case we didn't know already. We reported a story that this Massachusetts man, John Phillips, had sex with a teen that he married in an online game in RudeScape back in 2011. Okay? And then he got out of jail and then he's streaming on Twitch again. Now, the problem with this is that that's not John. That's a gentleman named Tony. And when we reported this video, a bunch of you went over and harassed this guy. Called him names, pedo, sex offender, you name it. Well, apparently Keemstar actually, um, a year later, said this to Tony. I am not going to put up with you fucking blaming me for people trolling you anymore. Because I am not guilty of that. I'm guilty of that video being wrong and what I said about you. But I'm not guilty of you being trolled in 2017. If this happened once or twice, I just I just let it go. But you have done this to me multiple times in the last six months. And I'm holding back every urge from saying just like, go fuck you, go fuck yourself. I'm holding that back. Which, when I saw this, it's like, ah, oh, this is a bit of a fucking dickhead thing to do, Daniel. What are you doing this for, you retard? Tony made a video thanking Ethan for all this because, you know, he's getting a lot of attention now. Thing is, I like Tony. I've watched his streams probably around three times, and he is an entertaining guy. I know three streams isn't a lot, but you know what? I've still watched him more than you. I know you watch this definitely haven't so shut up actually as i'm recording this video now uh tony actually made a response video to keemstar which i'm probably not going to even watch because as I, at this point it's just people's responding to response of a response it's just getting a bit confusing at this point so keemstar made his response on um on ethan and uh it was, it was a decent apology and it was a decent video no no it wasn't an apology why did i say apology the first part of uh, keemstar's video was just about the situation i'm not going to talk about because it didn't need to be brought up again so i'm going to ignore this video just for the sake of it ethan then made a response response to that video. I remember when I made a tweet not that long ago saying how things are going back to 2016. All we need now is Pyro to get back involved. And literally a day later, he uses a clip of Pyro mate, on his Keemstar video. Keemstar should add a disclaimer that these were simply allegations going something along the lines of innocent until proven guilty. Literally 20 minutes after Keemstar's video went public, all of Toby's channels were flooded with hateful comments and dislikes of people who thought he was genuinely a rapist. Pyro cynical, now we just need you to make a whole 40 minute video on Keemstar. Please. I'm a bit disappointed in Ethan how he didn't mention that Keemstar said a naughty word back in 2009. Oh fucking righteous fucking- Keemstar made another response. Thing is, if, if we're gonna go by numbers and likes and all that, Ethan's winning this at the moment because Keemstar's video is fucking getting bombed with dislikes. Like, madly. I gave a like myself on the video just because I felt bad for Keem. I never, never like videos unless it's a video I genuinely enjoy. I did this for sympathy because I felt bad for Keem. Keemstar's actually losing a lot of subscribers now. I think he had like a whole 10k sub day. I think he had a 20 K lost sub day too. Like it was pretty bad. But on Ethan's behalf, it's just, just normal. It's just he's still getting subs. And if Daniel's down again, I'm expecting.
some Grey Andre and Leafy to make a video on Keem again. But wait, someone else did make a video on Keem Star because he, they knew he was an easy target because he's losing subs. And yes, I'm talking about Deji. Now, I've mentioned Deji a lot on this channel. He's pretty much just... I'm kicking a dead horse, I know, guys. But he just keeps... He keeps giving stuff for me to make. I just... I can't help but talk about him. Now, Deji, I like Deji a lot, alright? I don't show it in my videos because he fucks up a lot. And he is a bit of a man-child. But then again, so am I. So, Deji, hit me up in the DMs. We'll be good friends. I'll kick your ass in Tekken. It was just... I mean, to be fair on Deji, if Keemstar... If he shows a compilation of uh, Keemstar basically talking about Deji and just maybe saying his channel's dying and stuff like that. And I'm gonna be honest, if Keemstar did that to me, I don't know if I'd be friendly with him either. Do I blame Deji for making this video? Yes, he did it for views because he knows Ethan has. They even communicated on Twitter them to H3 and Deji. I don't know if this is planned behind the scenes or anything, I doubt it, but I'm just saying. Deji's video was decent because he actually has points for once, he's not just crying at the camera. And Keemstar does go off a lot at Deji, but then again, he's a news channel. When Deji's in the news, unfortunately, he's gonna have to report on what Deji does. Does Keemstar sometimes come up to be a bit biased? Yes, he definitely does because he says Deji's channel's dying and stuff like that. And maybe he does go a bit hard on him when he's saying that Deji must be doing this for attention. This is not me disagreeing with Keemstar or agreeing with him. I'm literally just stating what the hell's happened. Now let's get back on to Tony. Keemstar in his new response said how H3H3 is not actually gonna be friends with Tony, like how he's acting like he is gonna be friends with him. H3H3 actually did the same thing with a man named Tommy MC something. Now if you don't know who this is, which I'll be very disappointed if you didn't, you wasn't around in 2016, but this is a person that Leafy made a video on and actually made cry. Hello folks. I'm having a difficult time right now because some people are threatening my life, threatening my family, and all I wanted to do was inspire people. Some leafy guy or team starred people are threatening me. And at the time I felt really bad for this guy because Leafy had made him cry and Leafy did make an apology. Was it good? Was it not? I'll let you decide. Well Keemstar actually shows a, a bunch of tweets where he's trying to get in contact with Ethan because Ethan promised he would come into his uh, show and Ethan just airs him. It does come across a bit shady. Recently you've been saying, oh I love the H3H3 fans and I love Ethan Klein and Ethan is pretending to be your friend. He had this to say, roll it. He's, he's threatening me. All of my friends can't wait to just dogpile on you. Yeah, well, I've got friends too, Keemstar. Listen, Tony, glory and gold, listen to me. Ethan Klein is not your friend. He is simply using you as a pawn to attack me. And how do I know this? Because years ago, Ethan Klein made a video against Leafy is here talking about how Leafy was bullying an autistic man by the name of Tommy NC 2010. Ethan sent all this love to Tommy NC. He was acting like he was there and he was Tommy NC's friend. But let me just tell you, years after this took place, Ethan Klein has completely ignored this man. Look at all these tweets of Tommy NC, the autistic boy, trying to get Ethan's attention. Ignored and ignored and ignored for five years. Making videos pleading to get Ethan's attention. He's tweeting at him over and over. Ethan, I thought you cared about this autistic man. Why aren't you picking up the phone? In fact, just the other day, Tommy NC had this to say. Roll it. Ethan, it's me, Tommy NC 2010. You defended me back in 2016. And then you made a promise to me you would come on my show. And basically what happened was you snubbed me. What happened? Why'd you snub me, man? Did you just forget about me? I've DM'd you a bunch of times. So, what happened? And now someone else has made a video on this whole situation, just like I am, a True Geordie. And I must say, True Geordie, this video is bad. Like, really bad. I like True Geordie, I love watching these videos, but the, the, some of the points he brought up were just awful. <laughs> I remember one point he says that Ethan, he was like, he's dragging it on it, because it's a 46 minute video about Keemstar, and the first minute of the video is just him making a skit of him getting attacked by a snake, and True Geordie says that he needs to get to the point. Why are you are you okay, bro? Just get to the point. I do sort of feel like this 46 minute video, and you know, I do appreciate lots of time of Ethan. Let's get the point, mate. You know? I mean, maybe he's building tension. We're fighting with a fake snake in the back garden in a bucket in a washing line stick. Not building tension, Lark. No, he doesn't. If he's making an entertaining video that wants to get your attention, he's got to make it entertaining somehow. Just like how iDubs and his content cop was wrestling with a gnome in the sewer. Well, what the fuck? Is he supposed to just be standing in front of the camera saying, Hi guys, Keemstar did something really bad. He 
cool Tony pedophile. That is really sad. Like, what the fuck is he supposed to do? He's got to make it entertaining somehow. And if he hadn't, none of you would have watched it if it was just that. That's just the only thing I want to talk about with True Geordie. I mean, he's probably out there eating poo off some girl's chest right now as we speak. I love you, True Geordie. Invite me onto the podcast. I love you, mate. Another thing in Ethan's video, he brings up uh, Keemstar's G Fuel. He says that how does G Fuel still sponsor Keemstar? How is G Fuel still sponsor this guy, by the way? There's one part in the video which I really disagree with, and that was this. G Fuel brought to you by false pedophilia accusations. <laughs> Chug it, G Fuel. You can't say that about the company. The company has nothing to do with this. You can't put all the blame on the company because that can actually damage it. And it has damaged it because G Fuel was getting a lot of shit on Twitter because of this bloody video. Bloody hell, I'm British. And then Keemstar fans started going after bloody Ethan's sponsors. Keemstar did try and stop it. He, uh, I got a tweet from him saying to all my fans trying to get Ethan's sponsors off, please stop. Now, I don't think Keemstar's doing that because he cares about Ethan. He just knows because I know Keemstar cares about the website. Keemstar knows that this is bad for YouTube and this could uh, destroy people's sponsors. In my opinion, this is all Pokimane's fault because she's the one that wanted to get rid of sponsors in the first place. And I will say, for this company to sponsor a video that's literally 20 minutes of talking shit about me, you will never see... Dude, your website's so ass it won't even load. Like, no company should do that just about ever. Oh, uh, is this a video where... Some random dude behind a VR machine calls a girl a thought for 20 minutes? Really want to put my logo on that one! Ha ha Don't go for people's sponsors, that's a low blow. If the company wants to let the person go, let them do it on their own knowledge and own research. Don't tell them what they can and can't do, okay? And don't do it as if you care about the company. Ethan did this just because he wants to hurt Keemstar, and he has, alright? Keemstar's losing subs and everything, he's getting loads of dislikes in his videos. I mean, it, it's worked. What Ethan wanted to do, it, it's worked. In Ethan's video, which shows a couple of DMs between him and Keemstar, it just seems like Keemstar's just always messaging this guy, I must say, it does seem quite annoying. Just to give you an idea of how Keemstar torments and harasses people on his enemy list. Let me show you some of the DMs he sent me over the years. Now these are cold DMs. I've already unfollowed him and he is sending me these DMs unsolicited out of the cold blue for the express uh, purpose of harassing me. So I really don't feel bad sharing these tweets at all. Currently working on an H3H3 lying salty man-child video. Have a few questions. Have you ever flagged down another YouTuber creator's video? I don't answer. And he uh, persists. Can I get an answer here? I'm trying to meet your request of giving nonstop defense because your baby ass can't defend yourself. Keemstar will make insane accusations, groundless accusations. And then he expects you to defend yourself. In fact, he likes it if you'll come on your, his show and defend himself. That's how his operation works. And so he goes, oh, well, he didn't say anything in his defense, so he must be guilty. Have you ever lied to anyone on YouTube? What are you, the fucking FBI? I don't have to answer shit, you dumbass. Bro. I am honestly starting to think you are having mental issues. Want B to grab a number for you to call from Erica Costella? He's making a reference to some like Team 10 drama. It's like, bro, this is the next day. This is the night and then the next day in the morning. He goes, have you ever lied about anyone on YouTube? And then two days later, can I get a sorry yet or do I need to keep defending myself? No one in this situation is really in the right or wrong. I did a little poll thing on my uh, YouTube channel and then most of you actually sided with Keemstar, which is kind of surprising. I thought most of you were going to say Ethan since all the backlash that he's been getting from this. In conclusion, no one's in the right or in the wrong. I just, I don't know what to think anymore. I'm just waiting for Ethan's response to his response on his response. And then hopefully we'll get all the reaction channels coming out when they make diss tracks on each other. Anyway guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Please like like, subscribe, and peace, and just have a good day. And you know what? I'm naked.